Northern Illinois has been the star of the show over the last few years. Bowling Green wins the conference championship last year. I'm Pete Futek for CampusInsiders.com. We're breaking down the 2014 MAC season. Here's what you need to know to be an expert. Oh, you're a clever one. Last year, there weren't a lot of surprises. Everyone kind of knew Northern Illinois and Bowling Green were going to be great, but this season, it's a massive year of turnover. Northern Illinois loses Jordan Lynch, Bowling Green with a coaching change. There's a lot of teams out there that think that they might have a shot to rise up. Remember, this is that wacky league that one year Akron came out of the blue to win it all. Kent State came from out of nowhere to challenge for the conference championship a few years ago. Who is that team going to be? Can Western Michigan go from really bad to really good in a hurry? I think Toledo might be pretty good. Buffalo should be okay. So it's going to be a year where I think you're going to see someone that no one's thinking about rises up and has a big year. Doug Chapman, who is your player in the MAC to watch out for? My player to watch is inside linebacker Lee Skinner from Buffalo. They lose Khalil Mack, who was everything for their defense. Skinner was the second leading tackler on that team last year. He's going to have some big shoes to fill. He's got to make more plays in the backfield. That's what Khalil Mack did so well. Skinner's got to have more tackles for losses and sacks. That's what Buffalo has to have on defense to be able to compete. Pete, what are some Mid-American Conference games we should be watching this fall? Just like it was last year, the power teams are in the West. Even though Bowling Green's in the East, they obviously won the championship last year. The West is where the big games are going to come. Toledo versus Northern Illinois, that might decide not just the West, but the conference championship. Watch out for Ball State, too, against Northern Illinois. That is going to be one of the big battles of the season. And an interdivision battle could be a MAC title preview between Bowling Green and Toledo. In non-conference games, not a lot of big ones to watch out for, but Missouri does have to make a trip to Toledo. Gary Pinkle plays at his own place. Bell State has to go to Iowa, and Northern Illinois has to come up to Northwestern. All right, Doug, who do you have winning the MAC? Choose wisely. I've got Ball State winning the MAC. If Coach Pete Limbo can find a quarterback, it's a big if. They should be able to run the table out there. They've got great playmakers on the perimeter. Bowling Green was a second choice, but their defense is just so suspect with the new head coaching change. Pete Limbo and company should win the match. Problem with Ball State, they don't just lose quarterback Keith Wenning, they also lose Willie Sneed, their top receiver. I think Ball State takes a little bit of a step back. They were a bum slayer last year. They beat all the really bad teams. Not a lot of good wins on that slate. But I think this year is the year Toledo bounces back. The Rockets got snubbed last season. They went 7-5. and five. They got passed over for a bowl game by 6-6 six and six Ohio. I think they're ticked off, they're experienced, and they've got just enough firepower on both sides of the ball where I think this is the year Toledo rises back up and finally gets another MAC championship. I'm Pete Futak for CampusInsiders.com, and we're here breaking down all the top teams and all the top conferences.